The information that we are going to release today is that a letter written on October 22nd and postmarked on, on October 23rd was received by Xenia on November 6th. The letter is purported to be written by Abby to her mother. We have had that letter in custody since the 6th of November. The reason that we are announcing today that we have it is because law enforcement had to take every possible step to verify if its authenticity and at this juncture we believe that it was in fact written by Abby and was sent to her mother. The other reason that we did not disclose this earlier is that this was a critical lead for law enforcement. It was one of the most tangible leads we had in this investigation and we wanted to take every step we could to follow through on that letter to try to find Abby. As we stand here today, we have not been successful in that task, but that does not mean that we are not giving up this search. There have been indications, there have been questions that, well, maybe this is a runaway. Why would you expend all these resources on a runaway? I ask you, if this is your child, as it is Xenia's, what would you want law enforcement to do? We are going to continue to follow up. I would stress that this is a child. She was 14 years old when she disappeared. She had her 15th birthday a few days later. We have been able to confirm that she has no source of income. Other than that letter, there has been no contact. We are concerned for her safety. She is not out there alone. She has somebody who is either helping her, whether that be a friend or what we fear is a foe. So we are going to continue this search for Abby as Zenia has asked us to do and as I think each and every citizen would ask us to do if it was their loved one.